What is the worst case of kids bullying a teacher in school? Have you ever witnessed? I was in 9th grade. We had a teacher that couldn't start the beginning of the year because she unexpectedly lost her baby. She either had a stillbirth or lost the baby during birth. She started school about two weeks after classes started. She explained to us that she was still struggling but was ready to get to work. I had these few boys in my class that relentlessly told dead baby jokes. Sometimes to the point where she would have to leave the room. I'm 24 now, and we lost a baby in my family in a similar way. When I think about that poor teacher now my heart just shatters. Kids can be so awful. One of my social studies teachers had this classroom with a big storage closet, and so he went back there one day to grab a documentary, and when he was in there some kid pulled the door shut and locked it. The class then spent the entire period watching Superbid on the little cart TV that had been wheeled in the movie. I had the class the period afterwards when they finally let him out and he had this just sad defeated vibe for the next few days. There was a history teacher in my middle school who was gay and when his students found out they hit him hard with it. He eventually broke down and cried in front of the class about it and talking about how much he loves his students and couldn't understand why they would treat him like that. And middle school kids are like sharks. You spill a little bit of blood in the water and they are going to have a feast. Any signs of weakness and those kids will take full advantage of it. We had a substitute English teacher while our regular teacher was out on maternity. The substitute teacher was very young, probably only about 21. Kids used to make her life hell and just didn't respect her. No one listened to a thing she said. Everyone interrupted her when she was talking. People threw stuff at her when her back was turned. No one did any homework she gave them, including me, but I never done any homework so. She cried one day in class and everyone just left to go to the next class. It was a huge thing at the time, and everyone was like we made her cry ha ha ha. I felt really bad, even though I wasn't involved, and I bought her some chocolate with my lunch money and brought it back to English class. Even my sister called me a dork for that, slash. Back when I was in 8th grade, I was riding the school bus in the morning, and one of the bitchiest girls in 7th grade found a dead lizard in the bus and took it to their teacher. The teacher was a very nice old woman who taught for around 40 years and loved her students. Anyway as soon we got off the bus and into the school, the bitch girl immediately put the dead lizard on the teacher's desk and their teacher was screaming and hyperventilating. As soon as that happened, our teacher, who was a young woman in her 20s, immediately went to the 7th grade room and gave them a stern talking about why it was wrong and how they fucked up. We found out later that the 7th graders wanted their teacher to get a heart attack and die on the spot, and they were laughing about too. They were so fucked up. In sophomore year at high school, I had this world history teacher who was this really cool, really smart and kind kind of younger guy. He was a fantastic teacher, but he was kind of timid around the students when they would act up more, especially the girls who would tease him more. One girl in particular seemed to get a kick out of making him uncomfortable, usually by this sort of weird flirting when he'd tell her to stop talking in class. It really made me upset sometimes, because it was obvious he hated it, but was just hesitant about giving her any sort of ammo. The tables turned one day, though. See, this girl had this huge disgust over stray hairs. She would react in terror if there were more than a couple stray hairs on her desk. So, one day, when she's out of her seat in class and gossiping or something, he goes by her desk, is making a cover by talking to one of us about the assignment, and with a nervously suppressed grin, uses a pair of scissors to trim his hairy arm onto her desktop. When she sat back down, after being told to, and notices a desk covered in stray hair, she ran out of the classroom, gagging and panicking like a small dog having a fit. Later that year, when a few of us were in his room during lunch, he showed us a bunch of pictures of his college friends and trips and stuff, and noticing a thumbnail, we get him to reluctantly open a picture of him in full us army combat kit with a few other soldiers, standing in the turret of a tank in Afghanistan or Iraq, can't remember which. He was the driver, and did a tour. Blew our minds, he was a solid guy, but he was always so dorky, and earnest, and never acted anything like a soldier. It made me think, this guy probably went through so many pranks from his guys 
He must have been itching to get back at this girl, and just couldn't hold back a kinda smallish prank on her to get the score even. Nobody gave him real grief after that, though. Ultimately, I think it was too unexpected for a teacher to learn and use our phobias to keep us in line if we pushed too hard. Like we were years behind him and fucking with people. First year female teacher was getting onto a troublemaker girl who always mouthed off. She started screaming and cursing at the teacher calling her horrible things. The teacher starts, professionally, yelling at her to leave the classroom and the girl says I'm gonna have my friends rape your daughter and kill her. The teacher walked out of the room. Everyone was telling the girl how fucked up that was. A few male teachers came into the room and took the girl out of the classroom. We had another teacher sit with us the rest of the class period. A friend of mine said he saw my teacher crying in the hallway from another classroom after she left. I remember in 7th grade, there was this teacher right down the hall from the classroom, which I had three of my classes in. I would constantly hear yelling, screaming, things being thrown, etc. She had a reputation for being one of the worst teachers in the school. One day she just broke down and cried in front of her class. Then, her class lost it and literally ran out of her room and went somewhere in the 8th grade hall. Some of them were caught and suspended. Anyway, one of my classmates decided to look into her window and she saw just an empty classroom during 6th period with a sobbing teacher in it. It got so serious among us even our teacher at the time went in to comfort her. That year, her class had the worst scores on any subject on the CRCT or whatever it was called. Worse, since she always yelled at her students, she had worked up a bad reputation with the other teachers. I think she was fired after only one year of teaching. In 8th grade, my ass history teacher had a student teacher for the last part of the year. He wasn't the most attractive guy, and some of the popular guys started calling him a flack because they said he looked like a duck. They'd quack at him when he'd ask the class to do something, and they'd whisper a flack all during class. Poor guy. He didn't really stand up for himself, like he's self-conscious about his looks, and was trying to ignore it. I'm going to take this in a slightly different direction. I had a math teacher that, as I'm now an adult, I have so much respect for. It was 6th grade and all we did as a class was raise hell. Nothing insane just a lot of obnoxious stuff. A few of the things we did were having a raise of fights and stealing all his chalk. He was a huge prude, so we'd find ways to work the number 69 into anything so he'd blush. It even got so bad with that number that one time when doing a math problem on the board he realized 5 minutes in that that was going to be the answer and just said never mind and erased it. He'd change your grade, if that's what it came out to as well. It got to the point that he'd send kids to ice just for saying it. Finally he'd always say throw me a bone guys, when we were not getting it but should be. We all brought in dog treats for like a week waiting for him to say it, and when he did we all threw them at him. He actually laughed at that one though. He left for a different school after that year, his first year at my school. The thing is, no matter how bad we pushed him, he never screamed at us and never lost his cool. I was one of the worst and the few times I actually needed help he really pulled through for me and you could tell he absolutely cared so much. I actually ran into him later in life and had the opportunity to apologize for being such a little shit. He was super nice then too. Thanks Mr. W. You were one of the best teachers I had. There's a teacher in my school that no one really likes, but some kid took it a little too far. He made a fake news article online and sent it to everyone. The article accused him of being a child molester. It blew up quicker than he anticipated and people ratted on him because he wasn't the most liked kid either. The kid was brought into the office, wasn't seen for about 2-3 to three weeks and the teacher hasn't been seen since. Pretty sure he was fired or quit, I don't know. It was pretty fucked up, I'll be honest, the teacher wasn't good at his job at all, and he wasn't too good with the kids, but being accused of molesting children, regardless of it being a joke can ruin you. Sex edition. Back in 5th grade. By sex education I mean they taught the boys about reproductive organs and the girls about periods. There were 3 5th grade teachers, 2 were very sweet pretty mild in general. One was a bitch, but who knows what was going on in her life. She was just pretty blunt slash abrasive which can be a little scary for 5th graders. 
Anyways, in hindsight, all three teachers actually did something really cool. They all talked fairly frankly about their own periods. It was pretty comforting, even though most of us had not gotten our own periods yet, to hear how different they can be, and how that is totally okay. So the one mean teacher, we'll call her milliseconds, F, described that she used tampons without an applicator, and that she had a really heavy flow, and immediately all of the girls are giggling and whispering. I've never seen shame like the shame that played across milliseconds. F's face at that moment. She may have been terse, but she didn't deserve to feel gross or weird just because she had a heavy flow. It was heartbreaking to watch. Later on, I myself would be diagnosed with endometriosis and I just think that if I ever had to speak in front of 5th grade girls, I'd want to be just as honest and I hope that milliseconds. F knows she gave me comfort in sharing such honest words. To this day I still remember everything so clearly. Crazy. My Apush teacher in high school was an excitable but average hype man who was very very passionate about teaching you. S. History. Most students liked him quite a bit, but every once in a while there would be a student in my school who would try to physically fight a teacher. One kid tries it in the hall, swings at Mr. Apush. Less than a second later, the kid is sucking wind on the floor and tearing up. Teacher looks him square in the eyes and says, I was a goddamn marine in Vietnam. I've killed better men than you'll ever be. You're tardy. Lunch detentions in my room today. And walked away. My little brother graduated four years after I did and said that nobody had ever fucked with the goddamn marine since then. <laughs> ah, Mr. Hendrickson. Very pale, very blonde, always wore very ugly sweaters. I believe he was my Spanish teacher during the 8th grade. Now while my school wasn't located in an inner city environment, we were between two of our state's biggest cities, and so we got students from both cities attending, making the school's demographics interesting. Imagine your typical freedom writers type of school, without the uplifting teacher. Now, Mr. Hendrickson was literally the nicest guy, although a bit strange, but very caring and sweet nonetheless. That didn't stop every single class he had from relentlessly torturing him. There were classmates of mine that would literally tell him shut up, bitches he would open his mouth and the class would erupt in laughter. Students were physically touching him, pushing him, harassing him, making fun of his very high-pitched voice, you name it. You could see his spirit break every single day until one day he snapped, he yelled at everyone, and after a short silence, he once again was told to shut up which was followed by hysterical laughter as usual. He broke. He eventually stopped writing students up, sending them out, anything along those lines. Started showing us movies instead of teaching. Even after all that, he was still voted to kiss a dead fish at a pep rally in front of the entire school. Honestly, I never felt so bad for a guy. I hope he's doing okay. My worlds of teacher cried and left the room. If you mentioned her son, who in all honesty, had died a few years prior. Almost every class knew this, and almost every class used it. Now that I look back, 20-ish years ago, I'm shocked she didn't just off herself.